I thought I would play a little bit with some imaging and try to figure out a good way to make it more agreeable for stenciling or for image transfers. So I'm starting off with the basic uh, image of a trailer. I'm going to make a few minor adjustments by coming up to image. Adjustments, levels, and I am using Photoshop PS uh, CS2, so it may make a little bit of difference if you have a newer version. But I'm going to try and increase the contrast a little bit more um, to give it a, a, a better place, a better starting point. I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I can come up here to image again. And I'm going to start with a uh, levels, then I'm going to go to contrast. I'm going to increase the contrast a little bit, and you can see these changes occurring on the screen. And then I am going to posterize this. Now, this is probably the simplest way to get this image to where I want it. it there are a lot more complicated ways. I'm not sure that it's necessary. I'm going to posterize it first in color, so you can see what it looks like in color. And that would be the image if it were uh, posterized in color. Um, I see that I don't like some of the shadows on here, so I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to go back to my levels and um, maybe do an auto level. And I don't want to make it any darker. I might want to make it a little lighter. There we go. There's a little bit lighter. Gives me a little bit better image. Now, I'm going to try this by taking and changing the mode to a grayscale. And what that does is it gets rid of all of the color information and turns it into basically a black and white transition piece. Um, not too bad. It's looking rather nice, actually. And then I'm going to come back up here to image and I'm going to come to adjustments. And this is where I'm going to be working in this area called Posterize. Now watch what happens when I posterize this image. It has this really nice uh, overall feel to it. This is a four level posterize. Let's see what it looks like in a three level, um, two level, and then let's try a five level. Five level I like. So I'm going to try this with a five level. I'm going to hit OK. There is my image, and that is what I would use as the base for cu uh, cutting out all my stencils or as a base for a transfer. Now, there's nothing that says I have to use the entire image. I can actually use parts of this image to get the look that I want. I might only want the small front section here, and that would give me a very nice image uh, to play with, and it would give me a very nice transfer. And I could see this repeated many times over, or I could see it actually used uh, in a m multiple ways. Uh, maybe as a mirror image, as a reflection, which would change the entire feel of the piece. Um, you can see where I could, you can have some fun with this, and uh, maybe just play around with it a little bit. Um, I think this has a lot of potential, a lot of possibilities, and I certainly think it's worthwhile looking into.